Welcome back everybody. In our previous videos we have been talking about Wix.com and how you can use it to modify your site, to create your site, to make it easy without the help of professionals. You are the professional here. In the previous videos we have went over content managers and all of the ad features and we worked our way down into the store ad features. So today I'm going to go into detail about this awesome upgrade into Wix.com. So if you like these videos, don't forget to hit subscribe, drop a like, and let me know what you think or what you would want to know in our upcoming videos. So if you remember on the previous videos as well, if you look on the left, you see the plus sign, that's the ad features, you go here, just below the bottom, you're going to see store. Now when you see store, this is everything that you're going to do for if you're trying to sell something. Unlike blog, blog you're telling about something, you're sharing something, you can use it for your store as well to show and give some information about what you're doing and how your store is going. Well, store, well, if you don't have it on your website and you're trying to sell something, well, it's pretty much a useless site, right? So we're coming up to grid product gallery. Uh, so when you see all of these little tabs here as you're scrolling down, you can fast track to them or you can just simply start from the top and just scroll down and see what you like and you can see it actually going down here for you. So the first one we have is Grid Product Gallery. Just like it says, it's a grid, so it shows you what there is. There's also a Slider Product Gallery. The Slider Product Gallery is it just goes from left to right, right to left, however you want. So for this purpose, we're going to use the Slider Product Gallery. So the one right below it, give it just a moment. It doesn't take long at all to load. Just a couple of seconds. I'm going to drag it right here. And there you go. Now, of course, our theme is the Jade Nitty Vintage Car Specialist, so it's selling shoes, but very easy to update it. So, the cool thing about templates is you don't have to do everything from scratch, like how you do in the other ad features. Here, you just simply go here, you select it, it comes to your site, and you can edit, take pictures, give the product description, however you'd like, and the price as well. So, you can go to Manage Products. When you click this, it's going to take you to an additional page. Give it just a moment. I don't have very good internet, so you can see it doesn't take very long at all to load. And there you go. So it's already a preset of products that you're going to sell. And this is, honestly, I like when it takes you to the dashboard because this dashboard page is honestly where you're going to make a lot of the changes so much faster than if you would do it just on the page itself. So here, when, you, when you're when you looking, there's the shoes, there's a picture, you can click the picture, it'll load, and you can delete however you want. So you can, the main image up, say here, you can crop and edit it, uh, or the remove the image. I don't like this picture, so you can just click on, and it removes it. And you can do images or videos, however you like for your product. Uh, when you scroll down under here, it's product info. I'm a product, we can say, remove it. Say hello just for the name of it. Hello, right? You can do a ribbon, a new arrival. So it's just going to kind of give it again, like how you go to other sites and you see them, like, ah, oh, special. Uh, we can say special. Special, right? It doesn't really matter. Just, uh, just to click to show you. And you can change the price. It's on sale, show price per unit. Uh, and you can do the description in bold here. You can change everything, you can highlight it, put your own personal description. Again, full customization, italics, colors. You can even do a link if you want. Uh, you can do bullet points. You can do numerical values on the side. One, it's the greatest shoe in the world. Two, you're not going to find one like it. Three, etc. You get my point, right? Additional info selections. Uh, so you have the product info, the return and refund info, the shipping info. Again, all of it's how you want based on how you want your store to be. So it just shows that when everything is going to show up, it's going to give all the details into the product value or what's going on. Here you can change any of it, so it doesn't matter. See, we can add a info section. Info section, buy me, right? So we'll do buy me. Da 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 da, just whatever, right? And we can do just like this. Do OK, and it adds buy me, blah 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 blah. Right? Same thing. A custom text. Now, allowing customers to personalize this product with a custom text field. You can do that as well. And you can tell right here the mandatory field that you must do this, etc. 
you add another product options you so you can connect your images maybe you have another site you have uh, Facebook again you can connect it to the same right managing pricing is inventory for variants you can and it shows up in here you go for black you can make the price more you can do whatever you want in this bracket here and so the world is yours let's just say 40 right so you can charge 40 for the price extra and because it's black you can apply it and there it goes so you can see the variants here right pretty cool subscriptions so you can offer products on a recurring basis with subscriptions so again if they even are following your page they're following your social media they can do a subscription to your site and you can give them a special deal that's pretty much it for the products the inventory do you want to save changes of course we want to save changes that's another big thing uh, let's add this I forgot to add go to save so anytime you're doing something you definitely want to save your changes because you never know what's going to happen maybe your internet will die out maybe your computer will die what whatever the case could be always save uh, now sometimes it will save for you you can definitely select that feature uh, but for the sake of error here I'm going to recommend to always save it for yourself you got no more steps to go you can do it we have a connected a payment method again you can do this uh, going to inventory and you're going to update your inventory so you can do I'm a product you can add whatever you want this is just where you update it in stock you can change it out of stock so you can control everything you have on the site so of course it's going to show uh, on the site in your store but it's going to tell you out of stock we all hate seeing that right well this is how you do it on your site Find products to sell, another great option, and add model list, that's going to help to you too. So this is going to source hot products for thousands of suppliers. Uh, so you can do this as well, print to full. Uh, so you can design and sell print on demand products, etc. Collections, uh, pretty much as it says too, it's a collection, especially like a collection of clothes, collection of this product, whichever you like. Uh, so you can kind of make your own collections here as well. This is basically the store. Uh, when we go into the dashboard of how to edit the pictures from here and what you're going to have when it shows up on the side. So that's the manage products. You can go to settings. This is a slider settings. So that's your products, the collection, all products, related products. Uh, you can add a collection as well. The layout, how do you want the layout? The display style, you can change uh, whichever you want. If you want it to come up from down, from left to right. That, that's yours. If you want it to crop it to the page, uh, if you want it to fit to the page, it's, it's completely up to yours. The image ratio, you can do 16, so whichever that you find suitable. Right? How cool is that? Pretty, pretty fantastic to mind. Uh, the product grid, the columns, you can make them bigger. Again, it, it's all just the same when we're talking about in the previous videos for the other ad features when you're when you're messing with the slider galleries remember we showed you on the slider galleries especially with the blogs it's the same same outline it's just this is going in straight detail just about your store pretty simple right so everything i know when you're reading these it seems pretty complicated and i, I know like from my first experience with wix it's like oh man what's going on but if you really just pay attention and calm yourself down just for a little bit and look everything is exactly as it tells you layout how it's laid on the screen pretty simple right a grid value exactly a grid what it looks like a map if you would all right so this is the spacing in between i don't look maybe i want the spacing to be better Potter, uh, product info padding you can add this as well everything you go that's the layout going to the settings right again if you remember on the films or on the the pictures when we have them coming in we scroll over them remember left and right how they're doing uh, swap images you can zoom on the images you can have a border around it what happens on hover right exactly that all right what's displayed the gallery title the product name product price see here we can just take it all off uh, or we can add it on it's already pre-selected to be already on it and you can add a card button and I'm going to show you that a little bit later. It's also really fast to do that, even without uh, just going right here. It's just another way to do it. You can go to the text, how it's written, right? Exactly the text. Out of stock, you can see here, right? Out of stock message. That's it. 
the design, the color, the ribbon capacity and color, the background capacity color, the border width, now everything is yours. You can see the border line here, right? So you can make the width. I don't like that. I'm gonna do white because we got a lot of different colors. There's white. See, now you can see a little bit better, right? So the paragraphs, the names, the dividers, the quick button views, you have that as well. The quick view, same thing. For the price, the SKU number, the quantity, you can custom. Uh, I'm going to do white just so you can see. All right, the price, I'm going to do white as well. I'm going to make everything white. All right, so just so you can see. Coming down, a few more product details, white. So we can change everything. The gallery capacity, I want this to be, say, a light blue. All right, pretty cool, right? Uh, that's the quick view. All right, going to manage, the manage store. Again, as I just showed you a minute ago, that takes you straight to the dashboard. That does everything you want. Manage collections, that takes you right back to the dashboard too. It just saves you a step and takes you straight into the collection area. I've already showed you that. This is just a fast way we're doing the slider gallery. Uh, of course, you can upgrade the stores. You can pay for more. So you can tell you uh, hundreds of stunning new templates, mobile optimized. And of course, much later into our other videos, we're going to go into the mobile apps and how to create those as well. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the slider gallery. And the store. Uh, go back down to the store. Here we go. The shopping cart. Remember, I was telling you about the shopping cart, I'm going to get to it much later. This is the button here. You can just drag and drop. It saves you time instead of clicking it and just puts it anywhere. Uh, the same thing for all buttons. You guys remember the buttons that we went through in the previous videos? Well, this is it. Manage products, settings. There's the button color. And again, when you go here to settings, design, uh, change the color to the background as well. You can manage it. Go to products, the store, the same deal. Nothing changes. Uh, add to cart, you can say throw it here, right, just to show you. All right, there you go, and it's going to tell you throw it here, all right, you see it. That's your button, all right, and the same thing, you can set up another page. If I showed you on the past videos how to create additional pages, right, so this is going to also send you into the other dashboard about how to optimize as far as your content manager. Right, your anchors. So when you throw an anchor on here, remember go back to our previous videos. If you're not catching these videos, don't you must subscribe. Uh, so once you do the anchors, you can take it back to there and do go to a form even. Just shoot it down to the form, throw it here. That's everything you're going to need. So that's the button. Uh, we have the store, the currency converter. Just click. And just to show you when you're just clicking it, it's just going to put it uh, kind of anywhere, which I prefer to drag and drop. All right, so let's go ahead, drag and drop. All right, see, this right here saves me time. It's going to load up, and I'm going to move it right over here at the currency converter, etc. And there it goes, the currency converter. Pretty fast, pretty easy. All right, now back to the store. Uh, the currency converter, that's the last. So you can related apps, the printful, the Shippo, the Wix site search, everything. The site search, that's where we were going over in the content manager, too. Uh, and the contacts and forms, the extras, or the embedding, uh, you can put this, which is really going to be helpful. If you have a store, you want them to go right to your product. They're like, oh, a new hoodie, a new special sale, something new. Right, this is it. Uh, and the currency converter, that's the last one. And that's it. That's the store. So now you already know what you've already learned from this video is exactly how to create your product grid, how to change, upload new pictures, change the description, you have your slider product gallery, which is the same thing as the grid, just it moves from left to right. Uh, now you have your product widgets, you have your related projects, your add to cart button, and your shopping cart button, and your currency. That's everything you need to know for the shopping, and this is very simple. And that's it. And you also have your dashboard, and that's going to be, again, this stuff is super easy. You can make this, if you already have your pictures and already have what you're going to say about your product, this is going to take like 10 minutes to load onto your page. So you already have a file, you're uploading your pictures already to Wix.com, and then you just select them, give your description, change it how you want. 
you have it in 10 or 15 minutes, and then your dashboard, you can manage your complete store from your dashboard. Same for your content manager, if it's blogs, whatever you have, it's going to do. So you can you can have your store up and, up and running immediately within 30 minutes. If you want to take special time to really kind of add color to this, this extra flair to your store, you got it. Uh, so, I mean, 30 minutes tops, your store is already uploaded, right? So it's much faster. You know what you want. You know how it's going to look more than a professional is. professional just knows how to do it quickly. You're going to know how your style and what you're trying to show. And so this is it. So, guys, that's all for today. In our next videos, we're going to go over some other cool ad features. We're exactly going to go over the bookings, which is exactly as it says, the bookings. So don't forget to drop in. Let us know what you think. And catch us on our next video, guys. Have a great day.